So what is up guys, it's Drew's MC here, and in today's video, this is the jungle house that we're going to be building. This took me an average of two hours to design and, you know, completely build. So I'd appreciate if you guys left a like on the video. Some lengths are going to be coming up on the screen now that will help you further along in the tutorial. Don't forget to message me on Xbox if you have any trouble building this, and I will hopefully, hopefully join your world and try to help you complete it. Until then, enjoy the rest of the tutorial. It's been peace from me. So what's up guys, it's Drew's MC and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build an awesome sort of jungle survival sort of thing. I'm not really sure how to name it because it's like a sort of survival shack but you know it's going to be a lot of stuff ranging from tree to tree which is going to be really cool for you guys. So if you guys want to leave a like that'd be amazing and what materials you're going to need is pretty much every jungle thing and you're just going to need some vines as well. Just make sure you have every jungle material. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is just find yourself, you know, the starting tree or, you know, a tree that you want your house to be in um, because we're going to basically have this tree is going to be the big tree and then the tree surrounding it is going to be the trees that, you know, are like, I guess you could say are for other items and stuff. So wherever you want to start, you want to make sure that you start at the place that you want your central sort of hub to be at. So, you know, wherever, you know, if you're in a world right now, just go and find that place um, right now. You just want to make sure that's one of the highest trees, I would say, um, simply because it's, it's going to look a lot better um, compared to other ones when, you know, if it's, if it's really low, it's not going to look that cool. It's better to have it really high, as you guys can see over there. I was just working on something else, but I've final wow, finalized the design now. So what we're going to, going to go ahead and do is, as you guys can see, this is the standard jungle sort of tree thing. And we're going to go across to every corner, and we're going to place up our jungle. We're actually going to place one jungle block there, like that, as you guys can see. And then now that we've done that, what we're going to want to go ahead and do is the, the area in between. So as you guys can see, these area, we're going to want to place jungle wood there. Just gonna play some jungle wood along there, just like that. And I'm currently playing on the console edition of Minecraft. I do think jungle trees are the exact same, but as you guys can see, that is how it should be. Now you just wanna, you know, fill in this area. You just wanna fill in this area with jungle wood. I mean, you guys could use other wood, but it just wouldn't look right. I mean, you know, I, I, I know for a fact that other people are probably planning on doing that, but just a heads up, just don't do that. So now what you want to do is you then want to use your jungle jungle wood and then build up by an additional, I believe, five blocks. So we're going to do one, two, three, four. And is it five or is it? I think it's four, actually. So, yeah. So in total, it's five blocks. We just want to build up by an additional one, two, three, four. Then we're going to go over here and do the same. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Now, in between these areas, we're going to place some fences right here. I should have a little highlighting area um, coming up on the screen now. And there we go. So I'm going to place some fences in here. Like that. There we go. Um, there we go. So, yeah. So we're going to place some fences in there. Then on the top area what we need to do is as we did the flooring at the bottom we're going to need to do the flooring again so um i'm sure you guys were going to place the wood with the highlighted area now and then we're basically going to place the wood just like we did on the bottom but you know with um the roof actually so we're just going to do a small roof so um i'll show you guys how i did this because there's a lot of variation to a lot of different types of jungle houses that you can build but this is the you know the best tutorial that i'm doing so now we want to do is just want to go around the edge with some stairs just go around the edge with some stairs, just go around and make sure that you wrap it around as well so that it goes smoothly because if you don't wrap it around, it just it will just mess up. Then on the top layer again of this, what you want to do is you want to add some slabs. So an entire layer of slabs along here like that. There we go. So just an entire layer of slabs. I mean, you don't need to add this all the way, but it does make it look a lot better. And now what you can do additionally, why I, why I recommend adding slabs is you can add some glowstone underneath. So now that we've built like sort of the first hut, this is basically going to be the, um, the, the lookout point that yeah, you're going to need for your survival house. So guys, I, I do apologize for the random cut. I did just mess up the video and I don't want to confuse you guys anymore. But now what we're going to do is once we built this, you know, top part of the house, what we are going to do is build the underneath part of the house. The, I guess you could say underground area. And what we need to do that is we need to build our wooden, well, I didn't see that there, but we need to build our wooden um, blocks down. So in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to build our wood and have it P pillar through pierce through all the way until the next available tree so if there isn't a tree there i would just recommend going down by at least 10 or 12 blocks as you guys can see and then just come underneath and then find the wood and then just make sure it pierces through till the next tree as you guys can see right here there's no sort of trees so, so, so i'm just going to leave it there on the same level at level as that one 
and we're gonna find the next wood block over here. So as you guys can see, it's, it's a bit confusing because a lot of wood, but just mine through and then build this all the way down to the same height as that one, as you guys can see. And we're gonna do the same for the, the right corner over here. And then um, we're just gonna mine through this and then build all the way down. And then we need to just go all the way down like that. And, and again, as you guys can see, that is that level so for me on my tree it was one two three four i think it's seven blocks yeah i counted this before it's seven blocks but let's say for example you were on this tree over here what you would then do is when you were building let's say you built the top part and you're building it down and out what you would then do is you would stop at this one here or you would stop at this one over here it's completely up to you guys or you could stop at both of them as you guys can see since we have um you know th this this level over here we're just going to stop there so now what you guys want to do is you want to get yourselves some blocks some and you want to build and you want to connect in between these with wood like that just connect in between them with wood like that so just connect in between these with wood as you guys can see and it's going to be forming a small little base as you guys can see there it's going to be forming a nice little base so as you guys can see now you know our, our sort of jungle sort of tree house is coming along really nicely now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to fill in this area so just fill in this area don't destroy the the, the the mid tree please do not destroy that because we're going to be using that next because it, that is going to be you know i guess you could say the um the next part of the build ball or whatever so now what we need to do is we need to get ourselves the rest of the house so wherever you guys stopped wherever you guys stopped and for me it was seven blocks wherever you guys stopped what you now need to do is you need to build down additionally additionally by one two three four five blocks and then you just need to do that for the rest so you need to build once down again by five blocks so we're going to do that over here one two three four five and i just need to get up there quickly just to make sure everything's going smoothly because a lot of the time this stuff does mess up so yeah everything's going pretty smoothly so um we're gonna go over here i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna extend it out to the same layer as the rest so then we're gonna go around here and there, there are a lot of leaves guys so i mean you don't have to you know destroy the entire the entire leaves so as you guys can see i've got some leaves there I'm just going to destroy these but if you guys want to leave your leaves there it's up to you guys just to make it look i guess you could say more natural i would say if you want to leave the leaves there it's up to you guys um so yeah we're just going to take this down by one two three oh gosh and then um four five and then uh if i could just get out of this silly place as you guys can see so there we got it guys so that now we've just taken that down by seven and then we've taken that down by five so what we need to do now is if I can set this today to so get the brightness back up. So what we need to do now, guys, is build the, the, the rest of the base. So once again, we're going to connect all four up again. Going to connect all four up again. Like so. And for some reason, guys, I don't know if you guys can help me with this, but for some reason, my Xbox is lagging in a, in a very odd way. So I, I don't know how, why or how, but, you know, Minecraft is just messing up and it does get pretty difficult guys so just make sure that you know which jungle block is which so as you guys can see here um i'm just trying to go diagonally across and for some reason a lot of the leaves are in the way so it probably will glitch out for you a lot so just make sure you do destroy leaves if you you know don't want to keep it natural and i would i would recommend guys destroying the leaves first and then if you want place them back but if you are doing this in survival you know then i guess you know just get some shears and just place the leaves back so as you guys see once again we've done it down again so now what we're going to do is this is the area that we're going to build a pillar on so what we need to do is we need to extend this front whichever side that you want to be the long side out extend it out by five so one two three four five then on the right hand side we're going to extend it out by three so one two three then so what you need to do now guys is as you guys can see i've extended one side out by five one side out by three we're going to extend the the rest of these four wooden blocks out by five just like that gonna extend the rest out by five and then the ones that we extended out by three on this side we're gonna do the same for that so we extend this out by three out by three out by three and then we just get get, get rid of get rid of all the leaves that are in your ways guys just please um, and then just place some leaves back if you need to so as you guys can see we took that out by three then we're going to do the same for the opposite side as you guys this side took it out by five we're going to do it on that side then this side that was taken out by three we're going to do this side that was taken out by three so we're going to take it out by one one two three 
one two three and then we're just gonna need to destroy all these leaves it's up to you guys though because i mean I, I, don't, I don't know guys i would just i would just recommend destroying all leaves and then um if you need if you want i'm probably most certainly gonna replace a bunch of the leaves back because it, it does get pretty frustrating and you you are gonna get confused so as you guys can see we took this out by three and then what we need to do is um this may be a bit difficult so just pay extra attention so just need to destroy this wood over here so as you guys can see here we're going to take it out by three because we took out that side by three no in fact five my bad guys i do apologize one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five as you guys can see for some reason the blocks are not getting placed as i place them so now that i've done that one side is taken out by five and the two other sides taken out by three so you should have this weird design but all we need to do now is what you want to do is as we were taking all of these pillars out by five you want to come across here and extend it out by five extend out by five extend out by five until you join up with this point here and then we want to do the same over here extend out by five extend out by five extend out by five and then we're going to do the same over here so as you guys can see now now that we've got a nicer base we're going to do the same on the other side and this is what i was trying to you know help you guys create so we need to extend this out by five extend this out and then just fill in this area so that's how we do that and um, i will have some lengths coming up along the stream because i can imagine that this tutorial may be quite difficult so yeah it's just it's the only reason why this tutorial i believe is difficult is because you have different trees and different trees may result in different you know looking builds so as you guys can see there this is what sh what it should look like right now so now what i need to do is I need to add the rest of the side. So in order to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add pillars of jungle wood on each side. So we're gonna add up by one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna go to this side. One, two, three, four. Then we're gonna go to this side. If we can, one, two, two, three, four. And over here, one, two, three, four. As you guys can see, that looks good so now that we've done that we need to add fences in between as we always do and then we're going to need to do the roof so add fences in between like so and i was i was wondering if it's well i'll show you guys two different ways to do the house because in fact we're not going to add fences on this part this is just, this is a different part because i want to show you guys a different way to do the house that's that's much better so now what we want to do is since we've got this design done we want to come to every edge and we want to destroy it and just place another jungle block there just like that so just make sure that when you place a jungle block you placed one more like that and then we're going to do it again so it doesn't want to look on top you want to look integrated into it and then i want to do the same thing again here like that so as you guys can see that is how you do that now that we've done that what we now need to do is the roofing and the walls so i'm going to do the walls first because it's easier i'm going to go across add one layer here and then we're going to leave a gap of two add a layer across the top and then what we're going to do is it's up to you what you can do here but look because this is where the um this is where the variation comes into either you can add glass along here you can add two layers of glass or you can add layers of fences so i'll show you guys how it looks for both so you can add fences like this for your windows and the reason why i'm suggesting add fences is because this is a jungle house and you want it to look really natural or you could add fences and it's going to look i guess you could say not exactly natural but you know it's, it's just up to you guys you could add some fences and then or glass it's up to you whatever you want um i would just i would just say i would just go with fences because fences looks more natural or if you guys feel like glass looks more natural it's up to you guys so whichever way you're going to do it i'll probably probably leave that up to you but just make sure you do have fences there or glass on, on that part it's, it's it's completely up to you so now that we've got the fences um done we just need to fill in this area so just fill in this area like that so all we've done is add one layer on the bottom leave a space for two and add another layer on the top so now what we're going to do guys is we're going to go over here we're going to do the same so add one layer on the bottom like so then leave a space for two and add another layer on the top and destroy that add another layer on the top and then as you guys can see we can just add some more fences or whatever and now that i'm starting to regret i, I think I, I think i want to stick with the glasses so i'm actually just going to put some glass along here so i can actually visually see what's better because when i was building the fences did look better but now that i'm thinking about it um the glass does look kind of better so yeah as you guys can see that's how that part looks 
then we want to do the same on this side so a lot of these tutorials are pretty much tedious i do apologize so one along the bottom another along the top and then what we're going to need to do next is the roof and then it should connect up really easily so we just need to destroy all these leaves because these leaves i mean you can you can just destroy all the leaves later you know i wouldn't suggest burning down the, the entire tree just yet but um yeah just just leave that un until later because um you know it's just gonna it's just gonna take you too long and uh yeah you can you the reason why i say just leave it until later is because a lot of the trees you can um you know just use them in your house and you know they, they probably look really cool so i'm gonna fill in the glass here as well so we're gonna fill in the glass over here like so and fill in the glass but okay not not there fill in the glass above here there we go and as you guys can see, that is how it should look. So, I mean, you know, if you want fences, if you want glass, it's completely up to you guys. So, now that we've done the hard part, now that we've done that bit, what we need to do now is we need to get ourselves the roof of the four this bit so we need to do as we did in the first area we need to go around and we need to add ourselves some jungle jungle blocks i guess you could say so just go around the top adding jungle jungle stairs not jungle not jungle blocks jungle stairs all around this top like we did before just going around the top adding jungle stairs like that and now that we've done that what we now need to do is we need to again add some slabs along the top so we could fill in this entire area I, I would recommend filling in this entire area but i really just don't want to do it right now but what you need to do because it's going to look epic just fill in this area above here just fill in the roof and i'm probably going to leave some of it as leaves so fill in the roof with some normal blocks fill in the roof and by filling in the roof i mean just fill in this area and there's a reason we still have the main tree because i'm going to leave a space so that you guys can place a ladder um, and you guys will be able to get up and access all parts caught. And this is the first level jungle house I've done. So I don't want any comments saying, yo, your jungle house is awful. It's terrible. It's rubbish. You know, delete your channel or whatever. But um, yeah, I, I um, this is the first one I've ever designed. So, you know, please just go easy on me. And if you do want a different biome house, um, I'll, I'll be sure to create that if you guys do think this is cool or whatever. So let's see. Um... Just filling in so i'm just basically doing the roof right now and there we go so as you guys can see now that we've done the roof all we need to do is get ourselves some slabs and we need to do exactly what we did on the top and just go across and build some slabs and the reason why we do this you might you guys might think oh well there's, there's there's not entirely any reason to why we do that it's just pretty much useless you're just wasting your time it's part of the tutorial and it's there for a reason although it may not seem like it i promise you guys it is so we're just going to go around and fill this in there we go and i'll show you guys if you guys want to expand this for example if you have a lot of friends on your world and if you have um a lot of more people that want more housing in your jungle biome uh or in general if you just want to extend out i'll show you guys how to do that after so just make sure you add slabs all the way and there we go this is going to take a while do apologize do apologize 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 probably should just speed this up and there we go guys which is looking 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 good now looking good so now as you guys can see we've got this nice little base and this is what it should look like so far so now that we've done that what you then want to do is you want to go above here and then you want to add either fences or glass so this is going to be the small little area where you're gonna you know just chillax or whatever you know like, a, like an additional lookout so we're gonna add that there just destroy that and then for the most part of this, you're pretty much done, but you're not done just yet because we've got a bit more work to do. So as you guys can see, that is how that looks for now. So as you guys can see, the jungle house looks really cool. It looks really epic, but you know, we've still got a bit more to do. So what we now need to do is we're going to need to add the ladder. So, you know, you can be able to access the rest of the build. So in order to do that, I need to make sure that, you know, this is all intact. So... Um, yeah, what you're going to want to do is, as you guys can see, the jungle tree is made up of four blocks. What you're going to want to decide to do is destroy one of them. So I'm going to take this pillar here, as you guys can see, and I'm going to destroy this one. So we're going to go straight through the build, as you guys can see, um, and we're just going to destroy it. I'm going to do this all the way up to the top. In fact, not all the way up to the top, my bad. Uh, there we go, place that back. And as you guys can see, this is where we're going to place our ladder. So we're going to get our ladder, or if you guys want... 
you can place your vines on here and the reason why you can place your vines on here and I would recommend it is because it just looks more natural so if you were to place your vines along here as you guys can see um, it works effectively as a ladder I think if I were to go in survival and you know you can go up maybe you travel slower but you know I genuinely don't know so as you guys can see that's for that part then what you guys can do as well is um, for example I'll show you guys what you guys can do is if you want to extend this out by a little I guess you could say adding it like a little porch on this part what you guys can do is in between this layer here you don't have to do this is I would say so let's say one so it starts here one two well let me just count one two three four so on the fourth one you want to just once again build another floor and I'll show you guys how to extend the bottom so you guys might want to do this you don't have to but this is just like part of optional tutorial Build another floor um, and just connect it all up just like like we did before you guys should be able to do this now to build another floor so we just need to get rid of this these leaves because these leaves are honestly so annoying now that I think about it okay so build another floor da, da, da. okay there we go um, oh gosh all these leaves are just honestly interrupting this tutorial I probably should have just cleaned out this entire jungle tree before I started so yeah it's probably gonna look better on some trees but you guys might want to add some more leaves if you guys want to make it look more natural so we built a small floor as you guys can see and it and we would be able to live on this floor if there weren't so many gosh leaves here so I can just destroy through the leaves and guys quick tip do not set this on fire thinking I'm gonna destroy all the leaves because you will destroy your entire jungle biome and you'll have to start a new survival world so don't do that um okay just just a quick tip um okay there we go so now that we've got rid of all of that you guys can see we've built ourselves another layer so now that we built ourselves another layer you're thinking what exactly are we going to do with that you can extend it out on two different sides so one way i would extend it out is like for example you could um let's see which is going to look the best for you guys um so i could leave it like that but nope so what one way I would extend it out is adding around here, just extending out by extending this out to one side, just extending it by how many other blocks you want. And then what you could do is this is up to you guys. If you want to keep it contained to one tree, just extend it out by three or four blocks. If you want to extend it out to another tree that's right nearby, what you could do is you could extend it out. And let's say, for example, there was a tree right here. What you could do is you could take this out and then let's say let's say let's say there's a tree right that's down below uh let me just show you guys for example what you can do is you can um use some stairs and then um or i i don't think you guys should use stairs i generally think you should use slabs because um slabs look much more natural um just in in the jungle anyway so you can use some slabs and then you can connect it up to i guess you could say a um a tree that's right there so let's say for example a tree was right there you could just connect it up to a tree that was right there so you know you'd come up and then you would use your path and then you'd walk over to that tree or the other tree or whatever other trees that you have or for example if you just want to stay on this one tree just extend it out by like a small amount and um you know you can add, add this as like a small balcony as you guys can see here and um yeah just add a little balcony just like that but it's up to you guys if you guys want to extend it out like crazily or not um also you could extend it out by having you know for example you could uh extend out the balconies four ways so for example let's say you wanted to go out to another tree and you know let's say for example you want to mow that tree down you just like you know forget about that tree just you know forget about that all that stuff um, you just want to keep it all contained to one tree if you want to have one balcony just keep that there if you want to have four balconies what i would stand doing is do four sides so one here like we've got one here and then we've got another here then we could add another here but this is completely up to you guys but i would recommend doing all of you know the above and then if you don't like it you know you can destroy it but if because the reason why i say just do all of the stuff that i'm doing in the video because if you don't like it you can remove it but if you thought mm, this doesn't look good i really want to go um, you know get the stuff again you don't want to have to you know go all up and start the video again just to you know get something that you've already you know spent hours watching and creating so um, yeah so we're gonna, gonna do this on one side I'm just pretty much just extending it just like that so the reason why I would say you know it's good to have balconies is because if for example you do want another tree you can always choose which side and then just quickly you know link it up to this so um, this if you're wondering the small balconies that we're doing they're just to pretty much you know 
three or four blocks out it generally doesn't matter guys it doesn't matter i would say the recommended width is around five block blocks or you know just make just make it like one block longer than the bottom area but it's completely up to you guys because what i love to see is that when i put out a tutorial a lot of people build it and then they like you know what i changed this because i thought this was better or i kept this because i thought this was better or i like this because you know what for whatever reason so it's completely up to you guys on how you want to do the balconies but just make sure that you do it longer um, than the bottom part um, if you want it to look really really cool because it's gonna look like it's all sticking out and stuff like that but yeah that's pretty much it for the tutorial if you have any questions if you did struggle please let me know I will try and join your world and help leave a gamer tag because I do play Minecraft Xbox a lot more nowadays um, because you know I, I don't know for some reason I've just been enjoying the game I guess you could say a bit more but it's up to you guys just remember if you want to connect it up to a tree just extend the balcony all the way out and don't use stairs to build it down because it won't look great just use some slabs and then build like a, a sort of pattern and I will try to set this today there we go and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my glass panes and just go around here again so let's just uh, you know to extend that because I, I just realized that in the original build I built this in another a completely different world um, the parts I had were extended out so as you guys can see here we've got it and you know, oh wait, 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 wait. I, I didn't fix this one. There we go. There we go. And of course, just remove the glass here. Just remove one blocks or two blocks. It's completely up to you guys. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, don't forget to leave a like. And also, I'm just trying to think about any quick tips I can say for this build. Some quick tips for this build, I would say for this build if you guys want to extend out the underneath bit you can for example just add some you know more wood and then just add some vines and stuff like that i don't know how to make vines hang i believe you add blocks then i i generally don't know how to make vines hang like that i think you um i really don't know guys i'm, I'm honestly i'm sorry uh i think you hang it then destroy it yeah yeah, yeah. so you place your blocks down and then um you destroy it like that on the console edition anyway so if you guys want to add some vines along each of the sides like that just make sure you add some vines along then add some blocks then what you're gonna want to do is destroy some of those blocks if i can show you guys destroy not all of them just some of them like that oh gosh i did it wrong again so one second guys do that do that and then um, just add some vines along some blocks then destroy some of the blocks as you guys can see it gives it a more natural look do you guys know what I mean it, it just makes it look more natural more part of the environment and that's the look we're going for here you don't want to have all of these sides the same you want to have some longer than others some shorter than others so for example you want to have this going all the way down possibly and you know with some vines running along it and then you want to have others that are you know kind of short with you know possibly no vines running along it so it's, it's just up to you guys how you want to mix and match. Also, you can add vines along here. You can add vines along the sides, along the top area as well. And yeah, guys, I think this generally turned out pretty cool. And also, guys, if you don't like the balcony design, you can just add this jungle wood on the edges like so, just by destroying that, adding that there, and then um, adding that like that. But it's up to you guys like I said um, whichever way you want to do the build it's up to you guys because what I've realized is that a lot of people you know will do what they want anyways they'll be like you know what screw that that Jerusalem Z guys doesn't know what he's talking about so um yeah guys I think this was a pretty successful tutorial I do apologize if I may have made some minor mistakes on the tutorial but I will do a quick walkthrough of the build in a hot second uh, so yeah, I, I really enjoyed this tutorial because the jungle house is something that, you know, a lot of people try to build and do pretty much fail. So this jungle house is, you know, pretty cool. Just make sure you add some vines. If it doesn't look good, add some vines on it. Make sure that they're hanging. Also, don't forget to add some more leaves around here as you guys can see why I think this may look, you know, a bit shoddy is because there's not much leaves. But, you know, then the leaves out here just look kind of, I guess you could say, man-made. So make sure you add some more leaves into the build. Um, also, I would say for quick tips, make sure you add some fences. Make sure you add some fences just like anywhere. So, for example, not just anywhere. So, for example, I'll show you guys a quick way to make this big build look better. You could add some fences along here. Add some fences along here. And, I mean, 
adding small stuff like this doesn't you know ruin the build even if it doesn't make sense to add them stuff there it just does just it just i don't i don't know how to explain it guys but believe me when i tell you when you add like random blocks in certain places it generally even if it doesn't make logical sense to have the block placed there it may add that sense of detail um you know that 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 your build needs also 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 don't forget to add yourself some glowstone because the reason why we place slabs on top is because for example when i add some glowstone underneath here that it doesn't just shine through the top because if there wasn't any glowstone it just looked really weird and it just shined through the top and it just it just wouldn't look good at all so if you guys did enjoy this jungle treehouse tutorial don't forget to leave a like on the video do not forget to subscribe and it's been Jerusalem C. And until the next time, guys, I really hope you did enjoy this video. It's going to be peace from me. Okay, guys, so I know this might be a bit inconvenient, but after I finished the tutorial, I did think about something cool that you could add to make the build look a lot better. And I would say that going underneath and adding stairs, going under, then over. Uh, oh, my gosh, I can't even do it properly now that the video is actually recording. What I meant to say is... Coming to these points right here and placing stairs that go underneath, then over, then underneath, then over, then underneath, all the way until it connects up with this layer here, really creates, you know, a cool effect as you guys can see. It makes it look like everything is, you know, sort of structured and coordinated um, with this jungle house, which just generally gives it, you know, a better look. So if you guys want to go ahead and add that to your house, it'd be absolutely amazing. But, you know, like I said, by all means, you don't have to do it because, you know, the house tutorial is finished. But yeah, it's been Jerusalem C. I do apologize for the random cuts in the video, but it's been until next time. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. It's going to be peace from me.